welcome back to the channel so today we'll be talking about five things that can make you poor in life permanently five things they are very bad so the last video i was actually talking about five money mistake you need to avoid but on this particular video i'll be talking about five things five things that will make you poor if you don't take it into consideration so if you want to know about them advice usually stay tuned listen very carefully and if you've not watched the previous video I uploaded on five money mistake i advise you actually go back and watch that video regarding money mistakes or money mistakes that can land you in poverty before you know it like seriously like i said before you know it it can land you in poverty so this particular video i will be talking about five five things that can land you in poverty actually it will land you in poverty if you don't take note five things so um uh, the first one we'll be talking about is um uh, <coughs> when you actually overbuying so i normally call this overbuy just i just say it's overbuying so this happened to everybody like when you are spending more than what you earn so it i call it overbuying so this can land you in poverty sooner than you expect sooner than you expect it might be a normal thing to you like yeah it's a normal thing like you buy but you should at least like if you really want to be successful you should know like okay this is what i earn so common sense is supposed to tell you like i'm not supposed to spend more than what i earn so that's a common sense but anyway common sense is not actually common to some to some people but you should know that so you should know that that you are not supposed to spend more than what you earn it can land you in poverty before you know what is happening so it's very important that you learn <coughs> how to budget. I'm still laying emphasis on budgeting again. So you have to learn how to budget. If not so, you just be spending more than what you earn. And um, by the time you're spending more than what you earn, you and poverty are job very, very close. You are very close. So you need to budget yourself, know what you earn and what you be spending. Know that, okay, at the end of the month, this is what you be spending and this is what you are not to be spending. So when you are not spending on that aspect, because uh, by the time you budget, that's when you learn to save like, okay, this is the amount I'm going to keep aside for some certain stuff. So take that into consideration, over buying, over spending. It's very important. It's one of the steps, one of the things you need to deal with if you want to be financially free. So on the, the second one I'll be talking about is, is um, when, when you are actually ignoring debt, like you are ignoring debt, you are actually in debt with um, your debt actually compounding and you don't know, you are not paying back. You don't even know the interest you're paying. A lot of people are in debt with a lot of credit card. They don't even know the APR they're actually paying. So this can land you in, this can land you in poverty before you know it. Because you ought to know your debt, like what am I owing? What how am I supposed to pay back? So those kind of stuff, you're supposed to know, oh, this is what I'm owing and this is what I'm supposed to pay back when I get paid. So when you don't know your debt, when you don't organize your debts, because literally like what I said in my previous video, I said, um, I was everybody have debts. It's not a bad thing to have debts, like to do what you want at the moment. So it's not actually a bad thing. But what is bad is when you cannot organize your debts. That is a bad thing. Because what, by the time you start compounding your debts, you start compounding your debt, before you know what is happening, you start going for thousands of debts to, before you know, you're already in poverty, you are in a debt that you start looking for loan to get out of it. So you should learn to organize your debts as well. So another one I will be talking about ignoring investment. So that's another important aspect of it that I want to talk about as well. So you ought to take that into deep consideration because when you are not investing, when you are not investing, then definitely means you are not saving, you are not planning for tomorrow. So you have to take into place your budgeting rule. Like I thought before, I made a video about budgeting, how you can actually plan your budgeting life. So you plan your budget, you know what to save, what to spend by the time you receive your salary. You know what to spend and what not to spend by the time you have that habit of investing so because i i a lot of people don't quite understand that there's a difference between savings and investment a lot of people do save they think they are investing so there is a video i did uh, previously 
I I was I was trying to differentiate the di uh, the difference between investing and savings because a lot of us just keep money in the savings accounts that we don't even know the interest that is being paid on our return annually so we actually think we are invested that's actually savings so you need to invest so that you can earn a reasonable amount at the end of the month as a return in your investment whatever you have you've actually kept in your investment so there are different type of ways you can invest i'll be doing videos about that and um one of the things you can also do as well like one of the good example of investing is when you go into real estate that's a good investment as well so you should look into that as well so learn to diversify your portfolio so not just put all your eggs in one basket i normally put it that way like don't put in all your eggs in one basket learn to diversify your 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 portfolio if you want to be a good investor and uh, the next one we'll be talking about is your cycle the people you move with the the who are your friends the people you go with who are your colleague because there is this um there's a saying like if you are if you are among if your your five friends if you have four friends that are successful and you are the fifth person so definitely you are the next in line to be to be successful and on the on the other way around if you have um four poor people around you so you are next in line to be poor as well so it's just a simple logic it's a simple logic so the people that you actually move with influence your mind as well they influence your decision they can't be thinking positively and you are thinking neg negatively they can't be thinking to be rich and you are thinking to be poor so definitely you can't be in the same cycle for you to have a good friends like me go with them you have to have a mindset so that's where it comes from you need to have a mindset think the same way have the same goal so that's another way and uh the last one i'll be talking about is financial education i think this is where the big problem is coming from because a lot of us ignore the financial education aspect of it a lot of us ignore the financial education about it because uh you only perform when you know you can only act when you know about it so you can only use the information which you know so if the information is not valuable to you there is no way you can act on that particular information so you need to have the education so there are a lot of books you might be asking yourself how do i get this financial education it's free actually you don't have to pay anything but you can still pay to get it but it is free so that that doesn't have to be any excuse for you and uh, if you want i can recommend some books for you which you can read and if you are not a person that read a lot that's not even a problem there are other ways which you can do it you can download audio book just listen to it at a lesser time when you're walking sitting down when you're not doing anything you can just put a put a um uh put the audio book on then you listen to it then try to listen there are some of podcasts of uh you see them interviewing some successful people they just try to do stuff like that then you definitely see how successful how successful you will be so it is very very important as well that you take that into consideration so it is very important that you take that into consideration as well so um like what i said before the ones i wanted to deal with first is the aspect of you overspending so please learn to know what you earn what you spend so by the time you are able to to know what you spend you made your, uh, your savings and if you don't know how you're going to do this there's a video I uploaded before it's my channel so you can search for it i did a video about budgeting i have different type of budgeting rules for you so i i quite understand that everybody have different different spending lifestyle my spending lifestyle is different to yours so there is definitely one for you i made a video available that i have like um some budgeting rules i put in place so there's definitely one for you there so just go ahead and i did a video about a spreadsheet how you can manage so the file is already there what you just have to do is just pull what you spend and at the end of the month you'll be able to like take record because bookkeeping is one of the one of the problem we have in some time even when we don't want to spend some time but we don't know how it goes we just spend it's just like that it's bookkeeping so if you really want to change your lifestyle you need the proper bookkeep uh, bookkeeping you have to keep record of what you're spending and what you're not spending and the only way you can do that is through through that spreadsheet i did before if you have not watched the video go see and if you need a spreadsheet like that just send me a message at the comment section definitely i'll do one for you 
so you can be able to adjust your lifestyle on the aspect of investing so it's very important that you take that into consideration so thank you very much for watching and i hope this actually be helpful to you and you take the positive step so that you can be financially free thank you